we always say in oncology that kids are not just little adults, right? So a lot of the brain tumors that happen in childhood are actually very different from the tumors that we see in adults. Diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma is a terrible disease, occurs in kids around five to seven years of age. It is uniformly fatal. I couldn't believe that this is what we're telling families. So that was when I thought, if you're gonna dedicate your life to something, dedicate it to this, because we've gotta do better. Over the past 10 years or so, we've actually understood a lot more the biology of this disease. We do this because we're passionate about the patients and the families we serve. This is why I went to neuro-oncology. We started doing more of these biopsies, and so we started getting more and more tissue samples. And we realized that 80 or 90% of these kids have a specific mutation in them. So that, literally, within a five-year period, we moved the field forward by decades, just by understanding what this tumor was and what made it tick. So now our job is we understand the biology, but how can we treat these children better? No one individual investigator is gonna figure this out. So we got together to develop the DIPG registry. So this is a registry that now includes over 1,200 patients with DIPG imaging, pathology, genomics, but it includes 115 sites in 15 different countries around the world. Those aspects of this are gonna be critical for us to then come up with better therapies for these kids, and that's honestly our goal. If you had to tell me what my dream would be, would be that in 10 years we could say, this disease is no longer a fatal disease, and these five and six-year-old kids are now growing up and living a full life.